you're a Packers fan, and the rumors are Odell wants to go to the Green Bay Packers. How do you feel about that? Would you like that? Would you hate that? Does that feel like a good move to you? Yeah, I'm I'm all about it. Uh, there's obviously an interesting kind of character clash there with Rodgers and Odell and seeing how that kind of played out with Odell and Baker and revisiting it for a second year. Like, I was definitely on the side of, like, this this whole idea that Baker and Odell just can't play together. I was always saying, that's stupid. They'll figure it out. But they're clearly, I think, at this point, it's safe to say there was some kind of chemistry issue going on with between quarterback and receiver. And people have always said Odell's got that diva mentality. So you pair him with a potential diva quarterback or at least a loud quarterback. How does that? Well, here's, here's what I would say. Like, I think Odell would submit to Aaron, though. Like, Aaron's earned the respect and, and yes. the right to just have Odell go, yes, sir. I, th- I don't think very many quarterbacks in the NFL could do that where Odell would just be like, yep, I'll do whatever you say. And also, Odell wants to be there, it sounds like. And I think part of the problem, I, I talked to, um, I, sh- I shouldn't say this too much. I made a video about Jamal Adams, about how Jamal Adams didn't want to be in New York and he was sabotaging what was going on. And Jamal Adams reached out to me and said, yeah, you're right. I didn't want to be in New York and I did everything I possibly could to get out of New York. Odell seemed to not want to be in Cleveland and did everything he could to get out of there. So maybe his attitude will shift a lot if he wants to be. Like, all that matters is does Odell want to be there? Is he bought in or not? And with Green Bay, it seems like it might be. Yeah. So there are questions about his personality, but yeah, go ahead. I, I think as long as that, what you said is true, and I think that's a really good point, you can't drop a better piece to plug into that Packers offense. I mean, that is what they've missed. And you, you can just throw on the tape from last week with the Jordan Love game. Like none of those guys were separating outside of Adams. That's why they kept going to Adams. Cause for one, that's all they trust, but he was actually the only guy that could stack a, a corner on the outside. So now you, you obviously plug Rogers back in there, but another receiver that's a deep threat that has unbelievable run after catch ability, which all of these kind of Shanahan schemes that run all these crossing routes really value that. And, I mean, you're looking at a team that could have a top three offense and a top three defense heading into the playoffs if everything gets healthy, and that is extremely exciting for Packers fans. Um, That said, I have a tweet that's been kind of recycled here from when they almost got Stephon Gilmore, and I was like, well, the Packers almost traded for Khalil Mack. They almost signed Allen Robinson. They almost traded for Stephon Gilmore. I was like, at some point, this front office has to, you know, figure it out and get something done. And the the Packers fan in me says, it's not going to happen. He'll sign with the Saints and the Chiefs, and it's they're going to fall short, just as I think that front office tends to do more often than not. So definitely not getting my hopes up too much there. But I think it, as long as the chemistry side of things comes together, it would be an unbelievable pairing. It's Madden. It really, like, it's it's a Madden offense with... Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams and Odell Beckham Jr. Like, are you kidding me? I just wonder how much money he's asking for. That That's going to really determine where he goes, I think. The Packers, I think, are, aren't going to be able to give him a massive contract. Maybe signs a, a smaller contract for one year and says, I want to win and prove myself. That's what I... If I'm Odell, I'm not worried about money right now. I'm trying to show that I can play. And where better to do that? Sorry, the Saints are not a good spot to show you can be a top receiver in the NFL. They might get... And I don't, they don't have money to spend either. So I think you go to the Packers and maybe sign a one-year deal that's small just to say, I'm going to earn a massive contract for next year and maybe win a Super Bowl. I mean, I, I don't know what he's thinking, but I'm, money plays a huge factor, right? Right. It's got to. Uh, I mean, it's a long-term investment thing. I mean, his stock is down. No one claimed him because they didn't want to pay him $7 million. And, you know, it's not like the three teams that he's reportedly down to, assuming that's true – None of those teams can give him a lot of money. I mean, the Saints, I mean, let's be honest, the salary cap doesn't exist for New Orleans anyway, but in theory, they are still backed up against trying to pay their all-pro left tackle, Teron Armstead, who's an upcoming free agent. In theory, they're not supposed to have any cap space, but it doesn't exist down there, so that might be a different conversation. Um, But the Kansas City Chiefs are right there with the Packers as far as just you know, cap hell for the upcoming season. So it's not like either of those teams are giving them a lot of money. Now, I think for Odell, you go somewhere where you're going to hit free agency and, you know, cash out. 
show at 29 years old, you can still play. One last little interesting thing about this um, is Devontae Adams is also an impending free agent. So what if this for the Packers is actually an option to gain leverage against Devontae Adams as well? And in a world where Rodgers leaves, that could be a transition that works where you actually keep Odell for cheaper, roll into love, and then you let Adams and Rodgers go. It gives them some more flexibility for the future as well. Not that I would do that, but... The Packers have to make him... Like, we've been waiting. You, you said, like, forever, waiting and waiting and waiting. And this might be their last shot. Aaron might leave. Devontae Adams might leave. Odell might sign a one-year contract. Like, this might be your last shot for a while to make a long Super Bowl run. And, I mean, if he... I think New Orleans makes sense because he wants to go home. And he maybe wants to play with Patrick Mahomes. I, I, I don't... Kansas City doesn't really make sense. I get it, kind of, but not really. Uh, like that feels like a take that you would say last year. Like, I'll go to Kansas City last year. I don't know why you'd go this year. The Packers feel like a good fit for Odell for him to prove himself. The fear is if the Packers don't get him, what if the Rams get in the conversation and say, if you're going to take low money for one year, we'll pay you. We'll pay you. Screw it. We're going all in. And my fear is that the Packers lose out to another team is willing to take a risk if the Packers won't. And then the Packers fall short of a Super Bowl again. They've lost an NFC title game two years in a row. Like, it, it's idiotic for them not to make this move, right? If Odell really wants to be there and it's like, I'll make anything work, they have to do it. Yep. Well, if you notice, I don't have a lot of emotion on my face because that's what I've been saying for about five years is the Packers just don't do that stuff. And it's 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 just exhausting. But uh, that's life as a Packers fan. You just can't, you can't expect that organization to, you know, put their foot down and, and make something happen. So it's frustrating. I hope it happens doesn't even have to change schemes either it's the same uh same kind of offense that cleveland ran